Okay, let me see. I think that this one is. Okay. Let me yes. Perfecto. I'm admitting more people here. And because there's generally the possibility that people can come a little late because of any circumstances, of course, in the syllabus, it stipulates, you know, don't interrupt because whenever, and you will notice, right now I'm focused on you and suddenly I have a student, oh, I have to stop, I have to, you know, wait until he's in, et cetera, et cetera. And then if I'm focused explaining, then I have to, oh, where did I left? See? So that gives me like maybe one or two minutes that interrupts the class. So it's muy, muy importante that everyone is punctual before that 11.10. See, if you are here and you can leave it open, so if you are here at 11, it will be marvelous. Like an early bird, Pete Merchant was with me here very early in the morning. See? Uh, bueno, bueno. Maybe not. Maybe you left it open. It's okay. See? <laughs> but you were here, and I say, oh, that's good, because he's prepared, ready to go. Okay? Muy importante. And that's the thing that we want to avoid, coming late, okay, to class. So... My name is Profesora Adame, see? ¿sí? Everyone knows me as Lupita, see? ¿sí? Uh, and when you put Profesora in front, it's formal. If you put the title in front, it doesn't matter if it's a, a nickname. You can say Profesora Lupita, like, freely, because it's formal. You can say Profesora Adame with the last name, and also it's formal. Okay, if you have any questions about that, you can interrupt me or the thing that I can do is go over the whole syllabus and you write any question that you should have and you, you can ask me in the end or interrupt if you feel that it's very important. Any questions? No? Now, I need everyone in your syllabus, it says that I need everyone open in, in uh, video on, see? ¿sí? Muy, muy importante. You are there, see, ¿sí? with me, and that's the thing. And you can, like everyone else, you can be from here to here, no problem. Of course, when you start reading, I will give you many explanations for why I want you from here to here, see, ¿sí? etc., cetera, et cetera. Bien. Hi, professor. Hola, oh, for hola. some reason. Oh, sorry. For some reason, my camera's just not working like this um, right now. But I promise um, next week I'll I'll get it fixed by next Tuesday because okay. for some reason it's just it's okay. Don't worry about it. This is the first day, and I will tell you what things to do and not do, especially for the class, so you can prepare. The nice okay. thing about the nice thing about uh, City College is that I'm using um, for this semester only for. Spanish 101, I'm using new material. I'm integrating the material in Canvas, okay? So it can be free, no textbook. OER material, zero textbook cost for you. So enjoy. But the only thing that I can tell you is that in the future, especially if you take Spanish 102, 201, Okay, uh, the thing with this is that you have to buy the book. They use Vistas, and it's a very good book. I like the system because everything is online and the exercises and everything. Um, and the nice thing about this is that they have volumes. The book generally from Vistas costs like 200 and something or $200, see? So that's the thing that you are not paying this semester. But, but in the next semester, see if you have to buy it because you are going to take Spanish 102 and 201, maybe you have to buy the whole book eventually. But also, 
if the instructor in the, in the bookstore gives you that opportunity, you can uh, buy the volume that it's $100 instead of $200, and it will not be so expensive, no? 200 bucks, see? That book covers generally 18 chapters divided in three semesters. That's why it costs so much because basically you can take in a continuous way 101, 102, or 201. Any questions about that? That's in the future. I don't want you to feel discouraged. I'm working in OER, of course, to help my students. Maybe you can get help this semester, but you know, if you take the 102, you have to buy a textbook. And also I noticed that um, I, because I teach that textbook also for many years. So um, the thing with this does is that, um, of course you will buy it, et cetera, et cetera, but it's an advantage also because it has all the material there. See, of course, this, this is very professional. I'm integrating a textbook that I will talk about, which textbook. And I basically choose that textbook because it has video on. And it has a lot of conversation going on. That's the thing that I liked. See? Because in this, does we have only one video? See? For chapter. Here, no. You have a lot of videos that applies what you are learning the only thing that it has, not negative, because it's a conversational book, is that I have to put in that um, grammar point, see, explanation. And that's why I'm integrating that book into Canvas. So it can be complete, see, in explanation and theory, no? Grammatical theory, whatever, see, writing, et cetera, reading, one more, okay? Well, so let me start by, I know everyone, before we continue on, the first thing that we have to notice here is, can you see my name, Maria G. Adame? That's my official name. That's the way that I have it in my roster. At this point, see, let me just show you. A ver, where is it? Everyone will see each other. Let me put this screen just to show you what's going on. Oh, oh, I hope you can see it, but no, no. Okay. In your screen, if you go to participants, is everyone with me? If you go to participant, if you are okay with your last name, it's okay. If you are officially there, it's okay. Don't worry about it. But if you are not, you go to participants and the thing that you will notice is that on, that on the right side of your name, if you click there, you will find to put your name there to change it. See? Just try it. See it? Because I want really your name like the roster. Some of the main names I didn't find, and I will go over that, um, your roster. Oh, let me, yes, I have a person here coming in. So let me take your um, attendance to see if everyone is here, because I noticed that I couldn't find some of you. So I have uh, Barbie, Caroline Noel. Castro. Marisa. Here. Okay, muy bien. And then we continue with uh, Steven Dionbelk. Donna here, Whitney. Here. Perfect, it's here. Luego, um, okay, let me see. I see you, perfect. 
And then um, Hannah, greeting. Dana, greeting. Jamel Cassandra. Here. Muy bien. Then I have uh, Katni Mascuma. Masuma? Masuma. Yes, here. Let me change it because I have two, two glasses, one to read and the other one to see the screen. So yes, now I can see perfectly. A Masuma. Then I have Lopez Emanuel. Merchant Peter. Here. Jasmine Munoz. Here. Moises Rodriguez. Here. Perfect. Ariana Sanchez. Here. Serrano Yasmin. Here. Talamante Sean. Tracker Sydney. Here. Tran Dian. Diane. Here. Here. Ajá, luego right Logan. Here. And Faith Panguan. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five. Perfecto. Now, um, whenever you say here, I know that's a translation that generally my students learn from high schools or classes, or you just want to translate here. And when you say here, of course, it's aquí. See? But in Spanish, and I will write it because it's formal, that's the way that we do it in schools, we say presente. That's the formality to say it. Presente. Please write it down. So whenever I call roll, you say presente. Professora, how do you know? Let's imagine since kinder to high school in a, in a foreign country, of course, we know the way that it works. And also, uh, you should know, and I will give that information to you, that generally in uh, Hispanic countries, instead of using only your first name and last name, we say it like this. This is my name, official name. Can you see that? See? So my name is Maria Guadalupe Adame Grifalva, and this is culture, okay? Traditions and everything. My first name is Maria, middle name Guadalupe, and last name is Adame. Adame from my father, okay? And that's the way that it works in the United States because you have Maria G. Adame as my record. But in foreign countries, we have the other last name that I think it's beautiful because we use the last name of our mother, see? And so generally in schools, they say, Adame Grijalva Maria Guadalupe. And we say, presente, profesora, presente, see? So that's the way that we use it. So just write in your notebook your complete name. Just write it and do it. First name, middle name, if you have one. Last name of father and last name of mother. See? What if I took my husband's last name when I got married? Where would that go? Oh, that's different. But right now we are going to focus on ourselves. See, and then I'm going to add that that uh, last name of your husband. Okay? okay. But let's start with my, and we will do this. I like to put I like you to integrate yourself to me. That's why I need everyone in video on. See, if for some reason you cannot do that. But you will be participating in class. I need to see you. You will do oral presentations, things like that, tiny things. And we need to see each other. Even when I send you in groups, you need to show. It's inappropriate sometimes to be talking just to the screen and the name. 
We need to know each other as human beings, okay? And that's the Hispanic way. We want to be near to each other, no? Know each other very, very well. So let's start with Masuma Kam, Kam, Katmi. Can you tell me your official name when you, and like you were born with what name? Yes, say it then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Masuma is my first name. Uh-huh. And uh, my last name is Khodemi. That's your father's name. Um, last name. Uh, not my father's name. Just uh, my... Uh, my last name. My father's name is Rajab. And uh, I have to say, uh, Masuma, Rajab, Khademi. And the last one is my mother's name. Okay, let's start again. Let's do it. You are my experiment. See? First name, your name. Masuma? Exactly. Then the last name of your father. Khademi. Muy bien. And then last name of your mother. Khodemi. Again? Khodemi? Yeah. yeah. So, so it's not the last name of your father, of your mother, the original one. Yeah. Mm, because uh, after I get married, uh, my, my mother's last name is Khodemi, and I don't know about the before that. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. See, that's the thing that sometimes when we get married, we take away the last name of your father, original father, and then the husband comes. That's also a custom of the United States. I remember that I went to my the DMV and I was planning to change my last name to the last name of my husband that is Diaz. And the little lady told me, you don't need to change it if you want to, you can stay with your last name. Oh, muy bien. So that's why I I preserve that, Adame. Okay? That's why it's my last, my real life. Imagine in those days, everyone knows me as Adame. What will happen to me? No. So that's why I have my Adame. See? But I think you understand the idea. The thing is that you remember your father and mother, and your mother already took the last name of father. See? So it's good. It's okay. Let's continue with Peter. Uh, it would be Peter Justin Merchant Allen. So Allen is your mother? Yep. Good. And your father? Merchant. Yes. Muy bien. Perfect. Good. Let's continue with Sydney Tracker. Don't put the, the name in the chat because it's going to record. I don't want that. That's your personal thing, okay? Uh, Sydney? Mine would be Sydney Nicole Thacker Coley. So first name is what? Sydney. Middle name? Nicole. And then last name of father? Thacker. And then your mother last name? Coley. Muy bien, si? ¿Sí? Ariana, muy bien. Um, Ariana Leanne Clark Sanchez. So it will be first name? Ariana. You have a middle name? Leanne. Muy bien. Then you have a last name of father? Clark. Muy bien. And then last name of mother? Sanchez. Muy bien. Let's continue with Whitney. So. Whitney Rose Pepper Borcherding. Muy bien. So you have a middle name and then you have the two last names. Perfecto, Whitney. I think we got it. Let's continue with Logan. Mine would be Logan Morrell Wright Hood. Muy bien. Muy bien. So we got it. Let's continue with Marisa. Good, Logan. Um, mine would be Marissa Page Castro Rodriguez. Muy bien. Sí, gracias, Marisa. Let's continue with Yasmin. Mine would be Jasmine Yesenia Serrano Briones. Oh, I think I have two Jasmine then. Jasmine Serrano and Yamis Muñon. Okay, can you do it again, Jasmine Serrano? Yeah, it would be Jasmine Yesenia Serrano Briones. Briones. Muy bien, gracias, Jasmine. Let's continue with Jasmine Muñoz. 
Um, the full name would be Jasmine Marlene Muñoz de la Torre. Muy bien, señorita. Moise Rodríguez. Uh, Moisés Francisco uh, Rodríguez Ramírez. Muy bien. Rodríguez Ramírez. Perfecto. Sandy. Mine would be Cassandra Maria Hamel Pardillo. Thank you very much. Muy bien, Sandy. Um, let's continue with Diane Tran. Mine would be Diane Ho Tran Ho. Because my middle name is my mom's last name. Muy bien, muy bien. Yeah. So let's continue with uh, Diane. Oh, sorry. I like my, I, I don't know how to use Zoom. So I like, I accidentally joined twice. So that's just me again. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Muy bien. So uh, remember, next time I need to see everyone's face, okay? If for some reason right now you cannot do it, whatever reason, just prepare it. And this was said in the school, in the syllabus when we start reading it right now. Muy bien. Jasmine Serrano. Ah, no, Jasmine no. Sí. Sigue Emmanuel Lopez. Can you give me your full name? And I think I will guide you through this. So it's your first name is Emmanuel Lopez. A ver. You just came in, Emmanuel Lopez. Can you hear me? Okay, the thing with my class is that I need to interact. See? And uh, whenever you are behind the screen with a name, unmuted, not muted, so that makes it difficult for me to interact. And that's why, and we will talk about this 10% of your active participation in class. So at this point, he just came in. At this point, I don't know if he's hearing me. See? And you can answer because I'm talking with you. So... Let's continue later on. I hope later on you can um, basically um, converse with me, okay? Muy bien. So I will, at this point, I will share my screen. I will go to my, this is a thing that I don't like. A ver, more. A ver, a ver, a ver, a ver, a ver, a ver. Mm. Okay, you know that I have been teaching on site in online completely after doing this for many years with uh, with COVID and I forgot, I don't know why I cannot see you in my, all right. All right, let me see if I can move this around. See, well, let me continue on. See, you can see me. Now you can see me in front because I'm in front of my main monitor. And you can see that I have two classes this semester. I have it on Tuesday. This is your class with, with this kind of vigil. So you can recognize it. And then on Thursday, I have another class, the same as yours. See? So uh, with the lady and the marigolds there for the day of the dead. I like the marigolds. So let's go into my shell. This is your home page. Notice that in your home page, I give you a welcome introduction. And then you have the first week of course resources that if you logged in since yesterday, I, I know that you will see it, okay? That's the main module that I want you to work on. It's a very mild reading thing, and you have only two assignments. You have your icebreaker for this day, and you have for this week, and you have your uh, syllabus challenge quiz. See? But the thing that I have to tell you, bueno, after I finish, see? So you have your course resources for week one. Week two, we start with the first. Um, first module uh, based on your textbook that I will talk about it because it's a little complicated because I put all that thing there because it the book is Pluma 
and it's divided in three volumes, but we are using volume one for Spanish 101. And then you have like five divisions or numbers, number one, two, three, four, and five. Of course, each volume has a lot of material. So I divided each module in three parts, part A, B, and C. And then we start with volume two, part A, B, C, etc. okay? So mm, that's that. Then we continue with quick links. Basically, this is San Diego City College core resources or support for students. If you have any, go over it just to see what's going on, what content do we have there. And it's basically, I put it there because City College wants you to be informed. Then we have your Spanish 101 syllabus here. And then we have a question and answer conversation forum. See? This is a way, especially for the first week, okay? Most of your questions that you need, you can send them in inbox. That, that's my main, main um, way to contact me. If you have, it's private, it's one-on-one, and I can explain it. But here, this I put it just because of that first, second week where you are basically knowing the system and you have doubts. And the nice thing about this is that if you go in, ask a question, maybe a classmate can answer. And once in a while, I'll go in to see that everything is okay. See, if I see an error in something, I will clarify, clarify that in the question answer conversation form. And I put it in the main, main, main uh, uh, page, like homepage, so you can go right away to it. If I go and do this, see, you'll see your conversation forum. And I just put welcome students. And here you can start, you know, replying, asking questions, et cetera, et cetera. If you, for some reason, can't have any problems. So let's go back. <clears throat> then we go into my Canvas, best way to contact me. My email is this one. Why do I not want you to send me email messages? Because if I go to the main district and I go there, it's a lot of a lot of emails that sometimes it can pass away, you know, trying to um, look for the information. So that's why I have it in case of an emergency, of course. Even I will use it in case of an emergency, but Canvas is my main, main contact. Then we have office hours. And the nice thing about it is, is that I will put the office hours one hour before this class. That's why some, I saw my student there early because I come in at 10. Generally, why? Because you have office hours starting the second week of class, if you read that in your syllabus. See, so you can know, I will be there. You can come early, you can ask your questions and then you can relax, leave open your, your Zoom for our class and, and you can be okay with it, okay? Then we go into our class meetings. Don't forget that it's 11.10. I want you to start coming in, see, 11. Uh, because I'm there. I'm in my office hours and you can come in and I can let you come in there. See, then you have the Zoom link. Then you have your Zoom password. I use Zoom password because just for precaution, for security reasons, I use this. See, that's why I send you like one or two emails telling you and gave you the link and also gave you the password so you can use it, okay? Perfecto. Then, um, please remember that Zoom link, meeting ID and password for office hours in, in uh, lecture class review or this class lecture, it will be the same. After password, you will be in the waiting room. Please wait. See, just wait until I admit you, okay? One more 
please be sure to log in with your official name. See? Now, if you log in into account, see, please go over. I will talk about that also because I like to jump with information that basically you need to know later on. But if you go to account, you can change your name to your official name in the roster. I need to see the official name on the roster. Okay, muy importante. Uh, and also in Canvas and when you log in, et cetera, et cetera. You, you will have this, this information in this week in course resources. Go remember. Oh, another thing. When you go into your home page, you see all the assignments here. Right now, it's okay. But starting next week, don't go in like this and click. Okay? Don't click. Why? Because if you don't do all the assignments and do all the pages, when you get into the next episode or next week, you will not log in. So, thing that I recommend you to, this is the first week, log in. <clears throat> Why not? Oh, I have to see that. Why is not doing that? Bueno. Another way to do it is this one. And then you log in into, and I will talk about this one, ignore it for the moment, but I will start publishing it right now because there I will put the Zoom recordings, okay? So you will, maybe you didn't see it, but now you can see it. I will put your Zoom recordings, you open it, see? And this one, it will show in the end of the semester when I give you complete points for it. But Zoom class lectures are here. Of course, you will see them here later on when I start putting the uh, recording there, okay? Let me go again to homepage. Muy bien. Let me go again to modules. I'm doing this so you can see it also, what do I do? Right now we are here doing all of that, see? You have to go to the module to work on. You have to start doing it from top to bottom because if you focus on your homepage assignments, it will just show you too, see? And I had some issues with, with some of my students when they were doing double assignments of the same. And I say, you know what? Focus on the modules and go one by one by one. Now, if you notice, if I go to student view, you will see that you start here and you have the bubbles. They will start what? appearing, appearing, appearing. This is what you see, see? And then when you are finished and you have all those bubbles, see, because you read, because you study, etc. This is basically information. It's not too much to study in this module, just seeing what you have, okay? But yes, you will have a discussion icebreaker and you have the course, where is it? You have your course syllabus to see, and um, you have your syllabus challenge quiz that you have to do, okay? And I think I told you that in my previous announcements. So I'm going to leave so you can see what's going on. You cannot open week two, see, of your first chapter of the textbook if you are not done with the whole chapter with a whole module of the previous one. And this will happen in each week. So you need to work what? Weekly, see? The assignments are weeklies, okay? Leave student. Bien, go to the home page again. Notice. So we are basically here. This has to show 
this can you, but if you go to modules, you will see it right away. But I have to check why it's not going to your, and I will do that as my homework. I like to have homework, so I'm going to check links of modules. Then I hope it works. Oh, I didn't put the libro, but I will do that right now after class. And then I go to recursos, resources. This basically shows you. No, it doesn't go. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I will work on that after I finish my class. That's not good. Bueno, for me, because I thought I had everything. Muy bien. So let's go this, we go to the bottom, and this is the one that basically gives you the idea where to go every time you have a new module or things like that. So let's go into course resources. Let's go to modules again. This is my welcome. This you can do by your own. I'm not going to last a lot of time doing this. This you can see by your own because I gave you the welcome video. And then you can do this, this one also. First steps also. Objectives also. Actividades for this week. Yes, go over it. This is what course resources has. Nine steps, nine reasons to learn Spanish. That's why you are here. Maybe it's a prerequisite. Maybe it's because you like the language and you want to learn the, the main thing of communication. That's good. You are here. Good for you. Again, you have your contact availability. It's there. And I already covered this in my homepage. See? Oh, if you want to send me a uh, message of whatever type, remember that you can do it from Monday to Thursday. Uh, and I will generally, maybe sooner, okay? I will contact you immediately through inbox. Uh, I generally give my answer within 24 hours, but generally I'm quick about it. If not, please resend it. And I say this in, um, in your syllabus. If for whatever reason I didn't, um, reply, do it again. It doesn't matter. I, I, I'm i not picky. If you send me again an uh, inbox message, I will be okay. Okay? Bien. You can see this also. I'm just going through this. See? Then here you have the syllabus, and I will come back to that because I really need to, to give you the whole works. Then you have here your syllabus challenge quiz. The thing that I tell you to do is to download your syllabus, revise it, highlight it, and have it prepared before you do the syllabus. If you notice, it has three attempts, see? So if you have any kind of accommodations, most of the activities that you have in Canvas that are assignments, are most of them three attempts, but always read instructions because it can change. Now, this is a format, see, that I have as an instructor, but let's see the student view. You have it like this. Can you see that? So you have basically due dates, how many points, questions, available time limit and allowed attempt. So you have everything there, okay? Perfect, this is the way that you see it. And then we continue with um, your tentative class schedule. Now, the thing that I did right now, believe it or not, it's a lot of material. I'm integrating the new textbook for uh, free that I'm trying to do. Uh, to Canvas, and I have like 10 weeks done 
but I have to revise it. So I revised only three, and that's why I put here. I will be adding more information to this schedule. This is a new textbook being integrated to Canvas, so you will know. As soon as I have the rest of the weeks, this is just basically telling you what topics are we are going to cover, see? What quizzes are we going to have, see? Canvas reading and assignments, you have to do all the activities and pages from top to bottom. And this, I repeat and again and again, so you will know about it. Then I have Cultura. Here I talk about the 21 countries that speak uh, Spanish, how to write the countries and the capitals, etc. cetera. No? And then on the second week, uh, the third week, sorry, this is second and third, this why learn languages. So I give you a little bit of everything. And then I tell you what listening, reading, and oral communication parts you have to do. And I give you the link of the textbook. And we will talk about that also in your syllabus. But notice that this is Pluma. See? Uh, I will give you the link in each of the chapters. So don't worry about it. But this is the way that you see it online. See? Okay. Before this one, you will see volume one, but we will cover five parts, see, during the semester. This is the one that I divide in three parts. A, B, C, parte A, B, C, of number one, volumen, number one, number two, A, B, C, numero tres, A, B, C. And if I press it, you will see that most of the, and this you can do it at home also. If we go here, all that information you have in Canvas, you don't need to come here. But if you are curious, you can come here also. Because I altered it, I took the information, but I added to explain what are we practicing, what verbs are we practicing? Because basically the, the this kind, it's more conversational and I like it to be conversational, but it doesn't have the complete, can you see? It doesn't give you explanations. It only gives you uh, videos to follow and to see how, how can you hear, how can you say it? How can you practice? And that's good. But I will add some things there to explain so you can understand better the information. Most of it is video because it's conversational and I love it, see? Preparación comunicativa. And then it gives you episodes that are nice to see and follow, et cetera, et cetera. But also it gives you the reading, listening. So basically this is a reading and it's the same thing, same thing as a visual, see? And this you will start next week, not this week. This week will be course resources. So that's why we are easy going this week, no? But next week you have a lot to start with. Organize yourself because we need to practice, see? ¿sí? Muy importante. Bien. So you can go over it at home to see what's going on, see? ¿sí? That's why I have it here and also I have it here. Muy bien. So this is your schedule. And I will be adding more, remember? Then what is Pluma? This is the real thing. This is volume number one. See? In volume number one is Spanish 101. That's the one that I'm using. Because you will see volume one, volume two. No, no, no. It's volume one. But it's divided in five, like, magazines or little books, no? Uh, they say magazines. So you can read this. See? And then here we have again the textbook. Let me see if it works. Week one. So this one works, okay? So the home page doesn't work, but this works. And every time I'm using a different one, I'm I'm putting the links of those modules. Okay, so this works. Then you have core Basically, this is uh, respect each other. Even when we give our opinions, uh, 
many of us are very traditional. Mary, maybe many of us have our way to think and we have to respect that I need you to focus on this. And also this will come a lot in your uh, syllabus. See, especially those points of an etiquette. See, so um, go over it, highlight it, por favor, and you have it in your syllabus. Here you have it online like this. Okay, but it's nice, pretty, etc., etc. But you have it in your syllabus more like in an orderly way, so it will be nice. See, you can highlight it and everything. Then you have accessibility for City College. It's almost the same thing for course resources. Uh, do we have tutoring in Spanish? Yes. You have to do it before time. Don't leave it on the last minute, one day before the exam. Don't do that, compañeros. Start, you know, with action, no? Go before time, study, not one day before, because you will not find, generally you do not find a Spanish tutor uh, person. Maybe if you do it with time, maybe you can do a group and you can study in that group with someone in the li library. It will be nice. It's your choice. Then we have a calendar. Let's see, what do I have here? See, I have a calendar for San Diego City College. You can go over that. We have some holidays coming. Yes, go. And I think I have it in your calendar. See, so you can see it. But I think you will be like, okay, because Monday or Friday generally are those holidays and we are in Tuesday and Thursday. So, um, muy bien. This is the Office of Instructional Services. Remember, just, I have a candle here. Just let me, because this, all right, okay. I love that candle, but it's, you never go. I like to turn it up, like, stop burning. See when it's on the bottom, so. Okay, so this basically goes by um, departments. And I know Jeannie Tyler was our dean for Spanish in, in um, all humanities, but she left to go to another place. So there's some change there, but maybe uh, by the telephone number, see later on, but you can look it up by departments, maybe online and you will have it because they haven't updated this right now. So as soon as they update that, well, but if you need it for other classes or whatever, any doubts, you have them here, okay? Muy bien, so this is your organizational chart, see? Then you have the Spanish tutoring. Like I told you, you go here. If you want to make an appointment, you can go online. You can visit the site and ask questions, et cetera, et cetera. Now, depending on the level, you're beginning. Remember that if you go to a tutor, the thing that a tutor don't want is that they are not going to make for you the homework. So generally, if you have any questions or examples that you don't understand, be prepared, write everything down. So you can do, uh, you can ask those questions to the tutor, muy importante, okay. And uh, let's see here, see, so go over that also. Here, this is the thing that I want you to see in San Diego City College Canvas Support Services, I put videos of class, this is an overall of Canvas, so you can know it very well. But then we start by, don't forget, this is a thing that I want you to do, homework, write it down, is to um, put officially in your pro, you put your profile picture, muy importante, in this you can find it here, the tutorial and how to do it, and also your name, your official name. I need your official name and a profile picture. Like if you notice when I, before I started doing your, um, the um, recording and seeing you in video on, I had a picture. 
I need you to have a picture. I noticed beautiful pictures there already. So that's good. You have the picture. Okay. But don't forget, I need everyone with a picture, not a name. And that will be your homework for next week. Please write it down. Importante. That's your homework. You have many homeworks, but this is one of them. I need you in the account that is here. See? To start changing your photo. If you notice, I have a photo there. See? Put yours there. Important. I don't want dogs. I don't want cats. And I have a big cat that I love the most, you know? But I want your face there. Muy importante. And then we continue with uh, how to do notification preferences. You have it here. See? Do it. How to do messaging in inbox, you have it there. Then you have a calendar. You know what? Um, in previous in previous semesters, I did the calendar. But you know what? That sometimes confuses my students. So I always do it from modules. What are your assignments? Go from modules from top to bottom. I, I try to prevent the calendar, but I put it there because I know that some of your classes uses the calendar very much. Maybe they have few assignments, but mine are a lot and my students can get confused. But even though I put it there, okay? Then this one is one that I really want you to go over. This is Rich Content Editor. How do I use my Rich Content Editor? See, well, generally you have, uh, when you submit, of course, I have this because I'm the teacher. You generally have this. Can you see this? You have a like similar like word. word. Then you have all the things that are here like word. When you submit something, you will have your box. You can put the inside of that videos, writing, etc., recording. See, and I tell you how to do. Um, recording by pressing this and using upload record uh, record media that's to record and to do videos see also see you can put um youtube videos things like that by using this see youtube by recording in canvas if you do a recording in canvas with a studio see that it's here on the left side, studio, you can basically insert your Canvas Studio there. So this, basically, you have to go over it slowly. That's why you have course resources. See, that's why I put all that information. You have it here. If you go to the bottom, you have the calendar. Then you have your rich content editor. See, and let's continue on to show you more little things. You have uh, Canvas guides for students. See, Canvas tour videos for students. Canvas tutorials. You have more. I just give you some of them because those are the ones that I'm more interested in you to know. Okay? Then how to record in Canvas. I, I give you my explanation. See? With pictures. It's here. Okay? How to do it. And in the end, I give you a professional video because I'm not professional, professional. I try my best, but I give you a professional video so you can know how to do um, or how to submit video or assignments in, um, we call it um, rich content editor. So it's basically those um, um, letters, R, C, E. That's your rich content editor. Okay, so let's continue with more. And then I give you also how to use Studio with Professor Adame. You will see that this is from Southwestern College, but it's the same thing. It shows you how to do it. You notice that I do videos, I do everything, and you have all those videos here, but I show you how to do it, and that's good. So you can use that. I give you several options so you will not be lost, and I hope it can help you. Uh -huh for the class.
Then I also teach you, I give you another option in how to record in studio. I gave you many options. Maybe one works better, maybe the other one works better. I don't know, it's your choice. Then ap applications that I use in Canvas, I generally use a uh, tablet. I use Wordwell. This is a way that it works Wordwell. It's nice. So why it's Amy, this is the official name, Amy. So I basically put this one here. When you do this, you play around and in the end you submit. Oh, it's wrong. Can you see that? Okay, so just play with it. I did it wrong so you can say, oh, so it marks you good and it gives you the check mark and it gives you the cross if you didn't do very well in that section. Okay, oh, yeah. so I have a work wall. I love work wall because we will be working in Zoom. The nice thing with Zoom is that um, with, with Zoom is that I can use sometimes Kahoot, see, with you. So if you have your cell phone, um, you can work with it with Kahoot or if you have your computer also. So that's that's that. I also use use LibreTix. LibreTix, and I didn't mention it here, is basically a system that you go in, you practice, for example, conjugation of adverbs, and you do it and everything, you type, and then you submit, and it and it basically uh, grades you. See, self-grade, and that's good. See, awesome. You will explore my, my Canvas shell and, and the modules to get familiar with it. Okay, then we have accents. Accents are important. Remember, every time, write it down. Every time you submit, whatever you submit online, see, please spell check in Spanish. You can avoid so little details. See, please spell check in Spanish in Word before posting. See, and here I give you the documents and how to put accents. Muy importante. Read it. That's why it's a module for this week, no? Then I give you the rules of capitalization. We know that in the beginning of a sentence, after a period, when it's cities, countries, names, last names, etc. See, we have to use capitalization. Okay? Muy, muy importante. Oh, oh, somebody was telling me that if we need a camera, of course, when you read your syllabus, you will see it's like uh, you need a camera. But if you notice, compañero, sometimes a camera, if you have a laptop, it's integrated. But in Amazon, see, you can find it in different prices and very economical and also very expensive. So yes, we need a camera, always, always, okay? Because we will be doing participation in class and we will be talking about that, see? Next, the, the good thing is that it will be your textbook free, you, you just need that camera. But remember, cameras are inexpensive, you have inexpensive cameras, they're very expensive also ones, okay? So this is basically the first week of Canvas, is just reading, um, knowing what you are going to have in your modules, and having that syllabus quiz, see? And also, if you notice, we have our next week that you will cover all that material in Canvas. So you need to organize because yes, you will not have two assignments. You know that you have between 15 and 20 assignments. It depends on the content of the week that sometimes, you, sometimes maybe it's 10, 11, Maybe it's 10, 15, or 20. See, but you need to organize yourself. And remember, start from top to bottom to avoid not opening that next module. Bien. So this is your discussion for this week. And I give you my introduction of me. You notice? See, I put it here. Muy importante. See, it's in English. Don't worry about it. It's just an icebreaker. And I put my interest there. See? So that's 
that's basically para coming to the end. And I think if I'm not, let me just see something here in the end. Ah, that's why. So this one I will eliminate. I saw something strange and this guy, one goes to the bottom. Okay, yeah. Let's go to our syllabus. Half of the syllabus basically is information that you see in your module, of course, resources. But even though I have to go over certain things with you. And uh, let, let me just, it's, um, let's take a little break of 10 minutes and we will come back right now after that break. So right, right now it's 12 and 13, we will be here at 12.23, okay? Take a break and I will come back. Okay. Am I seeing everyone, compañeros? Muy bien. So, I just want to cover certain things. So I will I will be, the thing, I have little errors, or maybe more errors. See, I have to be truthful. Because this is a class that for the first time I'm integrating the textbook to Canvas. So whenever you see certain things, Tell me I'm very good about it. See, even in the exams or quizzes, etc. tell me about it. For example, right now, I really appreciate Whitney telling me this because I have, I have several classes, but this one was going to almost cancel. See? So I was working with my other classes and I was very discouraged. I said, oh, I have two classes. Now I'm going to have one. Okay, so I was not working completely on it because it had only three students, okay? But I, I know I imported many things and Whitney was telling me that there were maybe, I don't know, I have to read it, but I know there's maybe one error that I have to fix. What are they? The, the Maybe the office hours, the days of the office hours or things like that because I have three classes, okay? If uh, So one thing I'm going to ask from you, don't, those that haven't done the challenge syllabus quiz, don't do it until tomorrow, okay? And those that did it, wait for me and don't worry about it. You know that I'm very human in that. If I see that one, point is yours. I will give it to you if it's my error. Okay? Got it? Bien. So don't do the challenge quiz until tomorrow. See? That will give me time to do my homework <laughs> today. I like doing my homework. <laughs> see? And I will update also because I see in the, in the chat that, of course, the links. And I think basically are the links because of the new book in the beginning because I have the links later on. See, so I have to revise the home page, basically. Bien. Um, so I need you to work with me. If you see something wrong, see, that you know it's very logical that it's wrong. See, tell me. Send me an inbox message, professora. But always tell me, in this exercise, in this module, see, there's this. If I check it and if it's okay, it's okay. I will come back to you and I will tell you it's okay. If not, I will do the changes, see, for everyone. Bien? Bien. Okay. So, perfectísimo. Let's start now. Hmm. Mm, aquí está. Okay. So, you have all the information there. Perfectísimo. Let me do this. It's better. Okay. And then you have all that in the home pages there. We will have office hours before this class, one hour before at 10. 
course description, you can do that. Prerequisites, you can do that. Also, prerequisites. It, generally, I tell my students, those that speak Spanish, your level, if you speak Spanish, is basically Spanish 215 and 216. And I have it in my syllabus, okay? I know if you are going to stay in class, remember that you have to do the homework or the assignments in the level that I'm asking. See? For example, if I'm evaluating present tense and I'm asking in an assignment, write 10 sentences in present tense, and you are giving me past tense, future, subjunctive, etc., but you will get it wrong. See? You need to focus. I, I say this to my students and no Spanish. Focus if you want to say, I'm not throwing you from the class, of course not. You have options. You can challenge yourself because your Spanish, like I had my Spanish when I went to City College, because I went to City College also. See, it's to clean the Spanish. What's cleaning? Acentos, learning the grammar more in depth, etc. to classify, to give names and label things. See, linguistically, that's Spanish, okay? This is Spanish, but I focus on the level. And even sometimes I speak in the level in Spanglish also, okay? So be patient. If you know Spanish, you have to be patient. See, because you are in Spanish 101 for beginners. Bien, perfecto. Let me continue. You can read all of that. Let me just stop for those. The office hours, muy bien, inbox. Uh, I already talked about your discussion forum in Canvas. If you want to ask any questions in the, between this week and the other one, do it. See, or you want to answer your classmates, do it. This is your textbook required, but I'm giving it to you. It's free, free textbook, no purchase necessary. And I'm going to start integrate. I already started. I think I have five five weeks to finish and I'm done because I already integrated, but we need to we need to test it, no? You are my first students using Pluma, okay? Then uh, you need a Spanish English dictionary and I really always say to my students, you have everything online. You don't need the Spanish English dictionary. But we have some students like me sometimes, I like to buy certain books to have it at home to feel those books that are there. See, and um, I generally recommend um, El Pequeño Lauro, so you can buy it, buy it in Amazon. They, you have beautiful ones there. You can buy whatever you want to. But when you buy it, don't buy it small. If you buy it small, and you look for a, 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 a word, you will not find it because it's so small. Maybe you can look for casa, for a cama, but not a lot of vocab. So buy the good ones, okay? Uh, of course, a notebook is necessary. I'm not going to see you. See, you have your notebook. Some like it spiral. Some like it without the spiral notebook some like it as a carpet you know three binder we say carpeta see and you like to divide it i love it when i like organization también. see so you can do whatever you can buy post-its you can buy colors you can buy but yes sometimes i recommend my students you are going to take notes see if you think that you are going to read it and learn it like that no pues, see and then when you do exams, it will be very difficult because I give, um, especially the week, and we will talk about that, the weekend, assignments during the week are most of them three attempts. But on the weekends, you will have one quiz or prueba, or you will, we call it quiz, let me put it there. Okay. Excuse me, Professor. Uh-huh. Uh, are you sharing your screen? Because... Uh, I couldn't see your screen. You cannot, oh my God. So why didn't you tell me, compañeros? Let me see where am I here. Oh, okay. So you didn't see me. Bueno, you understood me, no? 
most of it. Perfecto. So um, the thing uh, that I was telling you was about what? Someone? Getting a notebook and if we need an English Spanish dictionary. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. you, can, you can do that and, and it can be online. So it's here, see? So you can put the notebook, it's recording. So you will have a recording and the, and the information if you want to go again and see that little part. Muy bien. So um, don't forget, and it says here, mandatory, you will need a web camera for your video and audio activities. See, when you do your assignments, when you do your video oral presentations, you have to have that video on. Muy importante. Muy bien. And of course, generally your um, web camera has that thing so you can record voice also. So you will be okay. Bien. Then we continue with um, course resources. All those things, all those links are here so you can explore if you are, have any problems with, in a certain area, financial aid, admissions is here, student services. You will have your academic, but I don't know if I, I hope they give the, bueno, I will put it there. I know I have to see that link in your homepage. Then we have remote online services, then each mind matters. And you have all that information here that it's very important. Also, if you need any kind of accommodation, in this class for extra time, etc. See, you need to send me your official page from those accommodations. Also, your lectures will be recorded for any purpose. So it will be there, okay? For academic purposes, especially. Okay, this is a Spanish certification. At this point, I don't know what's going on, but you can ask the Chair of the department, Felipe Pato. See, and I will write it here. Felipe Pato is the chair of the department. He's French. And maybe he can, he can talk about the uh, basically certification of Spanish. Okay. The last time that I knew about it is that you had to take basically to 10, to 11, to 15, to 16, and uh, two Chicano studies classes, 241A and, and 141B to get that certification. Please, I know Spanish, see, sí, but if you have, if you know the Spanish and you have it in your resume there as a certification is giving you that opportunity of a job. It's not knowing, it's you know how to write, you know how to read, it gives you the whole works, okay? So read this, if you are interested, talk with the chair of the department, what are the classes that you have to take, or a counselor, okay? Sometimes counselors know, but uh, the chair of the department or, or who specializes as a counselor can tell you about that. Then you have your student learning objectives. You can go over that. Your student learning outcomes. Also, you can read it. I'm not going to focus on the things that you can read. I'm going to focus more on the things that I need to say to you, okay? Expectations. Then we start with mandatory class lecture attendance and active participation online. That's why you need mandatory, you need that camera. You will be participating in Zoom with me. Um, even, even in reviews, you will know that we participate in class, okay? All of us. And sometimes you participate from participate from three to five times um, during the class. And you will be on online in video. See? Uh, so we need to focus. So it says always Zoom attendance, video on. See? Muy importante. I call it CLAPO. That's what? Class lecture, active participation, on site, attendance and participation. Okay. So it's very important that you are in class. And if you notice, 
in the end of the semester, you will get what? 10% up. When I say this, is that basically, that's why we don't have extra credit. Because if you are in class here, you can have that 10% in the end of the semester. And I will show you how. See, I don't know if I did it here, I put it there. Uh -huh. So it's here. So if you, you during the semester, but even though you have to make it up in a way, if you have two absences, I will give you 100 points in the end of the semester. See, for two absences, you will have your A. After the three abs, after the two, you have to watch out because if you have three absences, you have 80 points. If you have four absences, you have 60 points. If you have three absences, no, a ver, tres, cuatro, five absences, I have to fix that. You will have 40 and then you will have zero F. So another thing that I have to see um, participation attendance numbers. So this will be basically 100, 80, 60, 40. This will be two absences, three, four, five, and then six, sorry, okay? Now, um, let's go with this one and, and note, this is very important. You will read it, but we have the recordings online. See, you have it in that module that I will start putting all the recordings by date. And if you are absent on Tuesday, if you are absent those two in those two absences, you don't need it. This can be excuse or non excuse. You don't need to send me any kind of letterhead or excuses. It's your decision if you are absent or not. See? After the three absences, even if you get, if you have two absences and you go to the third one, it doesn't matter if you give me an excuse or not an excuse. It's three absences or four or five. So you don't need to worry about that. But, but, see, you will have the recordings in your module to hear and to do two-page summary you can do it in English to explain yourself of what's going on and give examples of the material in Spanish that you learned during that recording or class. And this has to be turned in before Sunday. So if you're absent on Tuesday, turn it in before Sunday, okay? After that Sunday, you lose the opportunity because it's extra credit for you. See, extra credit, to really what? To have those 100 points total. So whatever, whatever absence you have, you have to turn in those two pages. This will, will guarantee you to have that 10% in the end of the semester. Any questions about that? No? Okay. So. This is muy importante. Why? If you are, if you do not attend my class, you do not participate if you are not present. So yes, it's important to be here. Video on, be present. That's attendance and participation. So watch out with this, compañeros. Also, if you do not attend, See, remember that um, your active participation attendance online, of course, is your 10%. But if you are inactive, see, online, you can be dropped from the class on the first day of, of the first week of class. If during the semester you are absent, you don't do your work, etc., that's part of the participation in class. So I need you to focus doing your work right away and uh, be present. Also, muy importante. Um, bueno, that's participation. Let me see if I'm forgetting something. Sí, 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 sí. Bueno, if not, I will come back. Then we have examines. 
Examen is, basically, you will have five exams most of the time. But if I see that I need the time um, for the exam or for to practice or to finish, see, I'm going to give you four exams and the last one will be on your final, see? And generally, if it's on the final, almost like, uh, how can I say, maybe 40% of your final exam will be on volume on the last one, number five. But my goal is to have the five, this thing, the five um, exams during the semester, okay? Every exam will be basically based on part A, B, and C. So number one is part A, B, and C. C of number one. Number two, it's part A, B, and C. Number three is part A, B, and C. In part four, digo number four, it will be part A, B, and C, and etc. Okay? Muy importante. Final exam, 15%. This is cumulative. And this will be basically from volume one, see, to number five. So, but I will give you a final exam guideline that I generally give before Thanksgiving, okay? Um, remind me if I don't do that because I generally give you all that information so you can start preparing. Some of you are very diligent in doing your work and organized and you want to do it right away. Sí, muy importante. Your final exam, part of it will be um, the final exam, uh, written final, that generally will uh, be like 200 points to find the written final exam. And also you have um, the oral part that it will be given before time to turn in one, be one week before finals week, before the final written exam. It will be online, uh, it will be in Zoom, and it will be the same times that you have right now uh, as um, class. Uh, of course, a final exam generally takes two hours, but I'm, if I see the necessity to have more time, I do it and I stay with you so you can do it. Now, some of you, uh, if you need some kind of accommodation, I generally am the kind of instructor that stays with you, see? Or you can have that extension of time to ask me questions. Sometimes people of, uh, that do those accommodations, they do not give you certain um, explanations um, in how to do it. Also, if we have a certain error in the exam, I can correct that, that with you immediately, okay, there in class. So I want you to feel comfortable with me, especially in the exams. Most of the exams will be online during the weekend and quizzes also with one attempt. That means that you need to study. You need to study during that weekend because you will have that quiz, prueba one quiz, or you can have an exam that covers the three weeks, the previous weeks, the big one I always tell my students, and that's generally 100 points. Quizzes are less than 50, and uh, exams are 100 points. The final exam is 200 points. And don't feel that it's too much. The thing is that yeah, I was basically, um, I did my my uh, BA in uh, San Diego State and um, the finals were 200 points. So I got used to that, okay? Bien. Homework, see? The, see, there's that error. You should not have that. See, so I will put homework. I'm going to revise because that, those little things, that's vistas. We are not using vistas, okay? So I put vistas there and I need to correct that. So give me today to do that, uh, to correct all those little things, and I will uh, put it back in clean, okay? So basically, homework are all those assignments that you see the little rocket. 
the quizzes and big exams in the weekend, they will have that little, um, let me show you. Mm. Let me just show you. Well, let me show you in this one. Quizzes, exams, pruebas, examines, all of them have rockets. See, thing that you should know, those rockets that are from top to bottom, those are assignments. Can you see that we have pages of explanations, all, all those things, but let's go in this one. This is the one that I want to show you the next week, week two. Notice that the rockets that you see here, like the letriar, el abecedario, nombre oficial, those are assignments, and most of them are three attempts, okay? Good, so we continue with the explanation, with the exercises, we continue with assignments. See, it's um, a three attempt, perfect, all of them are three attempts, see? Except the bottom parts. Let's go to the bottom. This one. Can you see pruebas and examines? Those are the week, weekend, one attempt. See, and I will try to put that here, yes, and yes, in this one, so you can know, even though read instructions. So this is also a rocket, but it's not an assignment. This is a real thing. This is on the weekends. See, N notice, and it's here, and it gives you also the instructions before you start. And it says one attempt, it doesn't say three. So watch out with the ones that are under here. Like um, in this week, the next week we will have a prueba, one attempt, 50 points. See, those are the small ones, but it's based on the material that you learned in the module, doing assignments and practices, et cetera, et cetera. Notice, and I will go up and see if I have some of them. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if I have. Okay, this is our explanations. This is the thing that I was telling you. This is Libre Text. This is practice before you do the, the assignments of three attempts. So you can do very well. See, so you, you say, Joel. First person, I is yo. This is next week, okay? Second person, tu informales, tu, and don't forget those acentos. If not, you will get them wrong. See? And then that's why you have them here because you have, you can do cut and paste, okay? Then you do this and you will say usted. See? And then you do here, a. Eh, eh. See? Let's just check. I'm not going to do all of them, but see. You got them correct. See, and the ones that are incorrect or not written, you will have this. See? And the nice thing about it is that you can retry and do it again. Okay? Muy importante. So those are examples of exercises or applications that will help you train you so when you go into the three attempts, it will not be so hard, okay, to do them. Also, remember, if it's a three attempt, try the first one, see what how it goes on, and then you can start take notes, etc. Remember, it's practice, okay? Muy bien, let's go back to my syllabus. I was, where was I? Here, I was here. So yes, let me do this, I think it's bigger. So it's here, oh, we did this. We are in final exam. We are in this that I have to correct. That's why we have video on, see? You will have homeworks based on that. Evaluations, now. Those things or assignments during the week with uh, with uh, rockets or little pencils, and we will talk about that so you can distinguish them, or discussions. See, uh, when I say to write, to read, to or comprehend, to do a video, an oral, uh, to listen, 
that's that's basically evaluation and, and it's 50% of your grade. The rest of them for practice and other things are um, basically homework. Then we get into the 5% that it's um, culture. Each chapter has a little bit of culture or each week but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that, depending on the textbook, how I integrate. If, if it's a lot of material, maybe I will not have the opportunity to do that with review. But generally, uh, I have a week that it's cultural and traditional. And during the whole week, uh, we do activities, but it's more cultural, more crafts, more things like that. And even to uh, learn, see? about the butterflies in, in many traditions, okay? So um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. If for some reason I do it, I will integrate that week of cultural and it will be part of cultura only. But I will tell you about it later on, uh, especially because we are in Zoom, so it's easy to, to communicate with you. Then we have quizzes. Remember that those quizzes are pruebas, see? On the weekends, that's 10%. You will have a total of those cuatro, seis, ocho, diez, like 10 quizzes in total during the semester because of the, uh, of the um, number one, two, one, two, three, four, five, multiplied by two because it's part A and B. The third week, each third week that it's part C, you will have that exam, the biggie one. And then you have the, the grading chart and you have the categories uh, during the semester. See, it's exam, here it's exam 30 points, final exam 15, evaluations 15, homework 15, uh, culture 5%, quizzes 10, and class lecture active participation online and attendance. See, I, I didn't put attendance here, so I, I need to revise this one. See, so it's that's that. And then we have the late work. Oh, that's the thing that I wanted to say to you. See, during the semester, I know that you are going to work weekly. If you are the kind of person that thinks, oh, I can do it later. No, you cannot do it later. The work is weekly. If Sunday goes past, See, you cannot open the next module if you haven't done the material of the previous week. So the only thing that I can do with you, uh, if you have, I know things happen, emergency happens, I will give you, write it down, one week to be late maybe for Monday and Tuesday only. Why? If I give you more time to finish, the other one will pile up, see? And of course, I cannot give you more late. I can give you one week time for during the semester. If you have any problems, send me, professor, I didn't finish. Can you let me from, you know, Monday to finish Tuesday? I will tell you, yes, I will write your name. And I know that if you ask again, I cannot give you an extra, an extra week late. Why? It's not fair for the rest of the class. That's why I need to be fair. If I'm giving an opportunity of one week to be a little late, see, I have to give it to everyone. See, to everyone. Muy, muy importante. So key, write it down. And I, and I think I will put it in my also syllabus so, so you can, so it can be more official. One week, one week to be late, and I will put it here only. A little late, not to, not two weeks, because it will pile up with the other one, and you will, and then this will happen. See, week one, if it's late, you cannot open week two, and if you don't finish week two, you cannot open week three. And it, it's it's like a, it goes like this. So yes. Don't forget that for you, I will do that for you. I know many of us have, you know, emergencies. Just talk to me. Be in contact with me, okay? To not lower your grade. Bien. 
things that you should know, see, read them. See, remember that all of it, it will be in your syllabus. See, you will have questions and you need to know about them. So here it goes. After here, you this is just information. Go over it, go over it, all of it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. See, netiquette is here. This part, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. This is the part that's difficult because just write it down. How do we know? that I did in proofread before posting. If, if I give you a sentence of, of that information, you have to relate. So be careful with that. That will be in your um, challenge quiz of your syllabus. Okay, let me just stop here. Do you have any questions at this point? Do you have any questions, Whitney? No, Jasmin, Moises, Sydney, Ariana, Masuma, Marisa, Sandy, and then Logan, Peter, Diana, and Jasmin. No? Right now, I went over it. Lupita, I know I'm. I talk, I talk, I talk, and I know I have something and I forget. And when I forget, if not, I will tell you next class if I forgot something, okay? But yes, I think you are very well prepared. Who can tell me? See, open open your, un unmute. Who can tell me what are your homeworks for next time? One, two, whatever, one thing, not all of them. So everyone I will a picture. I will picture the canvas in your name. Okay, so Ariana, you go first. Um, add a picture to Canvas and make sure your name matches the roster. Perfecto. Muy bien. Uh, Whitney, what more do we have that you remember? Little things that we should remember about the syllabus and things like that. Uh, review the syllabus and take the quiz. Muy bien. What parts of the, um, I will do a review for you. See, what parts of the syllabus are important to remember when you do your quiz? A ver, Jasmine, do you remember one? Oh, Jasmine Munoz. Oh, unmute, don't forget to unmute. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Uh, what part of your quiz do you have to remember for your challenge quiz? Um, for the, I just know that for the syllabus one that we have to wait until tomorrow for you to do some tweaks to it before. Oh, see, 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 see. Don't forget tomorrow, eh? Not today. Don't do the quiz. Those that did it before, I will adjust and I will give you points if I see something wrong. Okay? So don't worry for those that did it. And those that will do it tomorrow, it will be clean, okay? Muy bien, good. What more things to remember, Moises Rodriguez? I will call all of you, eh? So start thinking what you are going to say. Moises, can you unmute yourself? Um, I only remember the, the account, the profile and the name thing. Uh, was it the discussion? Was there a discussion board that we had to do? Oh, see. Sí. It, it's not precisely that you have to do. You have a discussion there that you can uh, link in uh, home in your homepage. And it's if you have any questions, you can ask those questions there. And maybe some of your classmates or me, I can answer. Okay? And it, of course, I will be busy cleaning and all those little things. See? But I will come back and I will review that discussion forum conversation just to see if you are okay. Bien, perfecto, Moisés. Another point, another thing that I said, Sydney Back Backer. The late work policy. Sí, what will I do or what options do I have for that late policy? Um, well, it said that you should try and turn it in on time, but it's due, but there's extraneous circumstances. Sí, 
in, in, in one of the weeks, remember, if you ask me for that extension, it will be for one week. Mm -hmm. Use it wisely. If not, work. See? But I know some of you, you have those things that something happens. See? And you can send me an email, and then I will write your name and say, oh, no, she took already her week extension. See? So if later on someone else, you say, the same person tell me, Professora, can I do no, it's like, that's not, uh, you have to be punctual every Sunday. Remember, on Monday, we'll start with a new chapter, new week. Muy bien. Ariana Sanchez. Um, for the quizzes, I know that we have three attempts, and then there's a practice that we can take beforehand as well. And then I was going to say the same thing about the week rule. Okay, in this one, I hope I understood. Most of the assignments with a little rocket are three attempts, okay? okay? During the week, when you go up and down, you see all those rockets, all those rockets, all, most of them are three attempts, but always read the instructions, see? Now, maybe some of them are not three attempts, especially if you have questions like true or false. Logical, no, you have two options. But in the end of the module, you will see a rocket under pruebas y exámenes. That one is a real thing. Generally, it opens Saturday and Sunday. Sometimes I'm good about it, and I open it on Friday for those people that work during the weekend. Okay? It's okay. And you will take it, but it's a one attempt only. And I cannot do nothing about it. You need to study for the weekend ones, okay? And also, what more? If you have any kind of accommodation, you need to send me that official page letter telling me that you need extra time. If not, I cannot reflect that extra time in your weekend, in your weekend quizzes or exams. During the week, I cannot give you extensions. Why do you think I do not give extensions during the week? A ver, during the week, you have many quizzes. If you had any kind of accommodations, why I do not give extra time? Well, I, I think it's because you, you know, class moved along so fast that you got to, you know, in the following week, you're going to be behind. Bueno, that's, the, the thing is that most of the quizzes or assignments that you have during the week are three attempts. Why more time if you have three attempts? See? You have a lot of time to do that, to do it well. Muy bien, Peter. Muy bien, let's continue with um, Masuma, Ka Katni. Uh, something more to add? Uh, sorry, can you repeat that? Oh, see, see, see. Do you have something more to add uh, to remind? Um, yeah, uh, notebook is necessary, and also um, the something like what dictionary. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you want a dictionary, so you can buy from the Amazon. See, or you can do it online. You don't need to buy it. Remember, that's yes. not officially required. See. I, I like to see my students have that those options. See? Muy bien. Remember that you are my colorful students. All of you are different, beautiful from the inside. See? Even though I see you as an adult, like I told you in my welcome video. See? All of us, we have that inner child. See? And if we're going to psychology, we already know that all, all our things that we have as an adult are reflection of our what childhood see so yes we are different so everyone has different necessities muy bien masuma let's go to marisa castro um you talked about like the participation and absences how two absences is an a and then three is a b i think and then muy it bien. goes on muy bien how can i do to have that A in the end, because remember that A, and I'm telling everyone, 
And I like to bug them during the semester. Don't forget that you cannot be the absent, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. See? Now, if you have any kind of emergency of, no, of course, you have two absences to be absent freely. But if you do the summary, going to the recordings of two pages with examples in Spanish, see, I will give you that day. Why? Because like Marisa says, that 10%, believe it or no, it's like a big thing in the end. See? That B plus can go to an A. See? That um, C plus can go to a B minus. See? It's organize yourself. I'm just telling you, this is this is a very a great opportunity. Whitney? May I clarify? So if you are absent two days and you do not do the summaries, you still have 100. It's only if you go beyond that that you will want to start making up. Okay. It, even though I will give you them 10% in the end of the semester, don't worry about it. But I want you to do the summary because each, you notice right now, a bunch of information. See, you will have a bunch of information. If you do the summary, even if it's those two extra that you that I give you an A, that will help you and me to understand that you saw the material, the, uh, that you understood that material. See? And also, I have a like a surprise in the end of the semester. See, if you do that extra credit, see, uh, to do everything in in the in like uh, the summaries and everything, I have that extra credit for those students that were doing everything to have this ten percent plus more. Okay. Yes, I I basically monitorize, see, that you work weekly online, see? Also, that's the thing that maybe I didn't put there. Your active participation online is very, I didn't say that was a thing that I was missing, okay? Read well the syllabus. You have the obligation as a five unit class to work almost 10, 10 hours weekly for this class, because this is including um, your class lecture, see, plus what you work outside, see, in your um, assignments. So if I, if I monitorize how much do you work online with your activities, see, I see, oh, she's working. She's doing her work, see? She didn't finish in one hour all the things that he that she or he needs to study and read and see tutorials, see? No, she's doing her work. So yes, attendance is important because I value, see, those how much hours, two hours and a half, see? Plus the extra time, see, that you work online. I will be monitoring that, that, see? Why? Because it's not so logical to think that one hour is sufficient to work online doing your homework and studying. There's where I see if you do well in your exams or not, in your homework, in your evaluations and all those things. See, we need to focus, okay? That, that's the thing that I was forgetting to tell you, okay? Muy importante. So write it down. I will do those adjustments with the syllabus. I don't want to be unfair because I know I have two classes. I, I don't I don't want to put one information and the other one up. See, I will clean this one. I, I don't know, no, it was another class that I told them, you know what? I know I, maybe I didn't send you the syllabus because I was waiting for this day with you. Because the nice thing with you is that I can give you the Zoom meeting and I can, interact with you. In the other ones, no. See? So I have to revise, especially in Southwestern, it's online completely. I have to revise, 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 put it in, and they will give it away as a welcome letter, and then tell, you know what, the syllabus can change a little bit in the, in the first week of class to give the official one. 
So after this one, you will have the official one, okay? Uh, let's go to Sandy, Hamel, other things? Um, we talked about having to utilize your camera and keeping it sí. on during class. Sí. Don't you feel comfortable like seeing each other, knowing each other? See? ¿Sí? It's muy, muy importante. Maybe before when we went to COVID, now not many people were prepared, see, ¿sí? to have online classes. The video was not working very well for the instructors, see, ¿sí? especially with internet or the megabytes. I don't know. But now, I look at the course, I feel pro because I have all my things there. Of course, we can. I can fail in some of the parts, but now I can see you and I can talk. It will not freeze. See, you know, did you can imagine the things that I have learned from the beginning of COVID to here. See, I remember, and I didn't know why. The 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 image froze, and my students couldn't see me. They couldn't see the 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 everything. So it's it's difficult. It's difficult to work like that. I did it. And now that I notice, I say, my God, you know, it's um a ver. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's so much the difference. We have developed more and more as human beings, no? And also I have my screens before I had only my laptop. And you know, as an instructor, we have to have all the applications there, your students, the chat, it's it's a lot, it's mucho. See? Now I have you here. I know I will change that because I want to see you in front. See, like I do it with a syllabus, no? See? Uh, but you can do all those marvelous things, and I feel very, very privileged to be with you like that. Muy bien. Logan. Um, you said to contact you through your Canvas inbox, not the contact email in your profile. Oh, see, 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 see. You know, I once in a while go there just to see what's going on. If I have a student or something outside of my class, uh, you know, trying to contact me. But if I'm here, I generally work. I will continue working all the afternoon. I see that bubble. And that says one or two students. <gasps> I have two students. Boom, I jump into the inbox because I'm in, in Canvas working. So that makes it very, very easily for me. Remember, all your material, everything will be in Canvas. Don't see the homepage with the assignments. See, go into the module. Start doing things from top to bottom. Don't go to the calendar. I will not put nothing in calendar because I know that those things have thrown off my students and me también, also for me. See? It makes it more complicated because if they see a different information, I don't want that. Direct. See? Muy bien, Logan. Peter. Uh, just be prepared to take notes. And uh, this kind of goes with having a notebook. but. Um... Yeah, take notes as you're going along and try to uh, get stuff to get stuck in your memory. Sí, muy importante. Sí. Uh, why? If you just see it like that, it's not easy. See, when you get next week, and you will understand why. Next week, I will give you the alphabet. Please be aware of this. And bueno, I will talk about it. See? But when you see the lecture of the alphabet, it's not a common lecture. If you know the language, you will say, oh, I know the alphabet, A, B, C, D, F, K, F, C. No, I give uh, feedback, linguistic feedback, phonetically and things of, of maybe five of them that are important for my beginner students to know. Remember, this is a beginning class and you should know the same material of my beginner students, okay? I don't want them to feel displaced because I'm giving advanced material. No, I need them to be in the same level. Okay? Muy importante. Muy bien, Peter. Uh, Diane? You said that the final exam will be on Zoom? Yes, it will be on Zoom. Uh, generally, it's 200 points, two mm -hmm. hours. But generally, I stay, you know, you know, for the whole time of the class. 
uh, if I need to stay here to help you because generally questions arises. Do you have something else, Diane? Um, well, everybody else, everybody said everything I was going to say. So It's okay. It's okay, Diane. Perfecto. Next person, Jasmine. You said about being to, to class on time? Yes, that avoids, even you said it a little bit today when I was going up and down and I, I was a little, I stopped talking. Yes, you need to be here at 11 or leave it open. So you can be here and I can start with a recording right away at the dot, okay? Because when I start doing the recording, I don't like to be distracted because like today you noticed, that I got distracted and I didn't share with you the, the syllabus. See, I need to be focused in, in those little things. You know, I continue and continue and, and I know I have to, I have to uh, start where I left, okay? Muy bien, Jasmine. So um, at this point, uh, the only thing that I'm going to show you I'm going to share again just a little bit to finish. See, and notice that I will go to again to modules and I go, remember that uh, this week will be week one introduction to class resources. See, and then next week we will have a bunch of things. This will not open to you until you are finished uh, with class resources and this will open officially on Monday. I will not open before, only on Monday. See, and notice here that I have the rocket of or the assignments, but let me see where is, I don't see an assignment. I think it's on the bottom. Oh, I have a discussion forum. When you see those little things, uh -huh, it means that you are going to do conversation and have a um, post of a first part and a second part. When you have discussions, compañeros, don't forget, and it says there in the indications, you have to do a first part to post and open the discussion. And then you will reply a minimum of two classmates, with two classmates. If you do less than two, uh, your grade will fluctuate, okay? This is when you have discussions. Also, I don't see that. Let me just go to show you a little bit of, um, it's not here, but you will have those kinds of feedback. Let me go just to Southwestern with me just to show you. Hmm. I have another class that it's basically Spanish 102, but I want to show you something similar. Let me go to this one. I just want to see if you have No, I don't have one. Mm. A ver. You know, ah, this one. So you have the rocket ones that are three attempts. Also, you have the one, this one that has a little pencil. Those are the ones that generally are, are to write, to basically to write, to do recordings, to, to do orals. Okay, muy importante. So this is the icon for that. And those are the discussions that you have to do two replies minimum. Okay, muy importante. I want to show you that. And let's continue with this. Okay, muy bien. I hope I don't forget something. If I forget something, I will write it and I will remind you on Tuesday or I will send, I will do an announcement and I will do bullet points for those things that I change or, or that I, I forgot to add and give you more information. Any questions, compañeros? Any questions? No? 
So let me yes, if I mention your name a second time, you can, um, oh, one thing, always when you come in, oh, that's another, okay. Come in, Zoom, write your official name, dash, and your email. Write it down right now in your chat. In your chat, on the bottom of your screen, it says chat. And on the bottom, put your name and your email. That, that basically will guarantee me that you are here and then you continue here. Now, another thing. Generally, I ask for your name in, in the email in the beginning of class and in the end of class. See? Why? To know that you are here and that you are present. Also, I keep track if you are um, basically participating in class. See, if you participate in class, of course, you will be okay. Uh, why? Because you are there and you are recorded also. So if whatever reason I put an absence there and I'm mistaken, I'm very good about it. What day? And then, you know, I go back, I see, and you are there and you will be okay. But I need you to be in the beginning and in the end and participating in the middle during the class. Bien? So let me, if, you, if I mention my name, I'm very glad to know you. I'm very happy that this class didn't cancel. It's open, more people can come, especially this week where I have only course resources. I think the heavy stuff will start next week when we start basically doing an exercise, you know, assignments, et cetera, for practice, okay? So if you know a friend, please tell them, you know, to add the class this week, okay? So let me start by Barbie Caroli. Ya se presente, okay? Castro Marisa. Presente. Perfecto. Uh, Steven Diomber. Whitney Donahue. Presente. Muy bien. You can leave. If I mention you, you, you have to leave or have other classes. It's okay with me. Then Hannah, Geraldine. Cassandra Hamel. Presente. Masuma Katni. Presente. Perfecto, muy bien. Emanuel López. Emanuel López. Sí, that's the thing. That's why I like to the second because he he's not here and he was here. Next one, Merchant Peter. Oh, Merchant Peter, I know you are there. Presente. Muy bien. Then, um, Jasmine Muñoz. Presente. Moisés Rodríguez. Presente. Perfecto. Uh, Ariana Sánchez. Presente. Yasmin Serrano. Presente. Uh, Talamantes, Sean. Tracker, Sydney. Presente. Tran, Diana. Presente. Wright, Logan. Presente. Muy bien. Y Faye, Pangorn. Muy bien. Am I missing someone? Okay, so just don't forget your, your web camera. See, and bless all of you. I hope you have a marvelous week. This is the easy week. See, we will start uh, with, uh, you know, work and everything. Everything will be inside of Canvas. That's the nice thing. So you will not worry about anything outside of Canvas, okay? Muy bien. Adios.